To another exciting episode of Storytime Anytime. Are you ready for a jawsome experience as we explore the mysterious world of sharks? Today we will learn about these magnificent creatures of the deep and why they are often misunderstood. Do you think sharks are scary? Most people do. It could be that they are portrayed in movies as vicious hunters of the sea. Let's start off by learning about the popular shark, the Great White. This massive beast is one of the largest predators in the ocean. You may be afraid of me I'm known for attacking things With my razor-sharp teeth I do not have any bones I am made of cartilage I guess if you met me It wouldn't be a privilege For I'm the great white shark With lots and lots of teeth I'm good at hearing, good at sensing, good at finding things. I swiftly swim to find my prey, and then I will attack. For friendly manners is the one thing I admit I lack. I swim along the shoreline, and I find so many fish, and seals and squids and sea lions. I'll make a tasty dish I know you do not realize That I keep the ocean clean For I eat the dead and dying fish They make a great cuisine For I'm the great white shark With lots and lots of teeth I'm good at hearing Good at sensing Good at finding Swiftly swim to find my prey, then I will attack. For friendly manners is the one thing I admit I lack. My baby sharks are born in quite an unusual way. For the eggs I keep inside myself until they hatch one day. And then the babies are born live and ready for some food I don't need to help for their own food they will pursue for I'm the great white shark with lots and lots of teeth but remember there are plenty of good things about me I'm used for cancer research and to keep the waters clean A great cuisine. Sharks play an important role in helping to balance our ecosystem by feeding off dead or dying fish, which keeps our oceans healthy. Many sharks have razor sharp teeth that get replaced by new ones as they fall out. These awe-inspiring fish have been around for millions of years. Like other types of fish, sharks use their gills to filter oxygen from the water. But sharks do not have any bones. 
Instead, their skeleton is made of cartilage, like your ear or tip of your nose. Let's learn about many different types of sharks. Sharks! Long before dinosaurs ruled the land, sharks hunted the seas. They have survived on Earth for 400 million years. The now extinct megalodon shark lived 15 million years ago. It was 40 feet or 12 meters long, and its jaws were so large a man could stand inside them. Today, there are over 375 different kinds or species of sharks. Marine biologists, the scientists who study ocean life, are still discovering more. Powerful Hunters! Sharks have skeletons made of soft, flexible cartilage instead of hard bone. The end of your nose is made of cartilage. Instead of smooth scales, sharks have very tough skin covered with tiny barbs called dermal denticles and they use their strong jaws and many rows of very sharp teeth for biting and tearing. These characteristics, plus a huge appetite, make the shark one of the most fierce fish. It's no wonder that these predators cruise the seas and oceans without fear. They have almost no natural enemies, except other sharks and humans. Shark Senses Sharks use sight, smell, hearing, touch, and taste. Their sense of smell is excellent. They can smell blood in the water from over a mile or 1.6 kilometers away. Sharks also have sensors called ampullae in their snouts and sensitive hairs and channels called a lateral line system along their sides. These extra sensors help them find distant or unseen prey and navigate through the ocean. Shark attack! A shark begins to look for its prey when it is within about 100 feet or 31 meters. At this point, the shark circles the victim slowly and may even bump into it a few times to see how strong it is. Then the shark quickly picks up speed as it closes in for the attack. The attack begins as the shark clamps down on its victim with powerful jaws and shakes its head from side to side to tear out a bite. The smell of blood can cause other sharks to join the attack. They wildly take bites of the wounded fish or animal 
This is called a feeding frenzy. Blue sharks. Many shark species travel great distances, like migrating birds. Blue sharks may be the farthest ranging, swimming up to 4,000 miles or 6,400 kilometers in about a year. Like most sharks, baby blue sharks are born ready to swim. Young sharks are called pups. Female blue sharks can give birth to more than 50 pups at a time. <laughs> Hammerhead sharks. These sharks swim in gigantic packs of 150 or more. They have wide, flat heads that help them slice through the water. The hammer-shaped heads of these sharks can be up to three feet or one meter wide, with eyes set on each end. Imagine having eyes that far apart. As they swim, hammerheads swing their heads from side to side. This motion may help them see more of their surroundings. <laughs> Tiger sharks. Tiger sharks feed on almost every other fish and mammal in the sea. In fact, they will take a bite out of anything. License plates, rolls of tar paper, tin cans, and other not so very digestible items have been found in their stomachs. Tiger sharks have stripes like a tiger. However, their stripes get lighter as they get older. Thresher sharks. Thresher sharks have the longest tails of any shark. Their tails make up half the length of their bodies. These sharks move very quickly. They use their long tails to slap schools of small fish. Then they eat the stunned fish that cannot swim away. Whale sharks. These white spotted giants are the largest sharks in the world. They grow longer than school buses. Whale sharks feed at the surface of water and swim so slowly that boats sometimes bump into them. They are so gentle that divers can catch rides on their backs. They live on tiny plants and animals called plankton that drift through the sea. Whale sharks have over 4,000 teeth, but each tooth is less than one eighth inch or three tenths of a centimeter long. Bull sharks. These dangerous sharks are very aggressive. They live in every ocean and have been known to swim hundreds of miles into freshwater rivers and lakes. Bull sharks have been found in the Amazon River in South America. 
the Ganges River in India, and the Mississippi River in the United States. Great white sharks. The great white is one of the largest predators in the sea. Its thick torpedo-shaped body can weigh two to five tons, two to 4.5 metric tons. These sharks hunt alone, cruising at about two miles, three kilometers per hour. But great whites are very hard for ocean scientists to track. Very little is actually known about these mysterious beasts. So many sharks. Over millions of years, sharks have learned to live in many different underwater environments. Today, these silent and mysterious predators come in a variety of shapes and sizes, and they thrive in almost every sea and ocean on Earth. Sharks are so important in our world, and we need to protect them so they don't become extinct, which means gone forever. So, what can you do to help? Well, learn more about these awesome creatures so you can better understand how human behavior can hurt sharks. For example, one of the biggest threats to sharks is trash that is thrown in the ocean. Sharks will eat plastic because they will mistake garbage for food. If you reduce your use of plastic bottles, reuse the plastic bottles that you do use, and recycle plastic, this will help the shark species. Oh, and another thing, don't litter. This seems like an easy step to take to help reduce the amount of garbage thrown in the ocean. Sharks sure are incredible creatures. Let's work together to keep them around for millions of more years. This has been brought to you by Twin Sisters Digital Media and Evergreen Podcasts. Be sure to hit subscribe. If your children enjoyed these songs and stories, go to TwinSisters.com to find even more ways for them to sing and learn. Be sure to subscribe to our newsletter for our free download of the day giveaways and promotions on exciting new digital learning content like these and much more. And visit our friends at evergreenpodcasts.com. Thank you for joining us at Storytime Anytime. <laughs>